Good morning, everybody. My name is Gercules, and welcome back to a brand new video on the Guild SMP. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. In between recordings of the last video, guys, I have done a little bit of building. I have been making some pathways out of cobblestone, andesite, and tuff. And right over here, I'm going to be uh, building a bridge. Right over there. Ignore the skeletons. They're not part of this. But yeah, today guys, we are actually going to be doing a little bit of ocean monument raiding. I am fully maxed out in gear. I have three potions of war breathing and night vision maxed out. Got an axolotl to help me fight. And yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into ocean monument raiding. Before we do that, leave a like and subscribe and watch my videos. Thank you. There we go. First ocean monument. What I'm probably going to do is start from the top. Right, there we go. Oh, there we go. We're going in. Huh. Well, that was easy. Oh, that's the entrance. No, we don't want to go there. There's the treasure room. Oh, there's number two. Well, that's a second Elder Guardian taken down. This is pretty easy. Like, less than three minutes in and we're already, we've already taken down our second Elder Guardian out of six. Because there's actually two ocean monuments that we're going to be raiding. Come on. Get back here. There we go. Whoop. Third Elder Guardian down. Let's go. Alright, where's that treasure room? Okay, three minutes of mining fatigue. Mainly one of the reasons I actually wanted to come to this ocean monument is so that way I can get sponges. There's a sponge room around here. This will be fantastic. All right, let's go over to the left. Oh, there's a sponge room. Let's go. We found a sponge room, guys. Oh, yeah. Okay, we still have a minute and a half. While I'm here, may as well take out these guardians. Oh, stuck. There we go. Sorry if I'm kind of rushing this, but wanted to kill those elder guardians as fast as possible. And I did it quickly by breaking through the top. But yeah, I'm going to need a ton of sponges because me and my allies, the Whovians, are actually making a guardian farm. And we're going to need a lot of sponges. Like, we have over a stack, but we're going to need a lot more. And plus, if we have a bunch of sponges, we can get a lot of money by selling this stuff. There we go. Eight gold blocks. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I do not have... Oh, wait. I could just break them with my fist. I don't have a hoe, so I can't get these things quickly or anything. And there's the sponges. Hey, there we go. Okay, over half a stack of sponges. Nice. Now I just need to find the way out. You're stuck in here? Okay. Fair enough. This guy's coming with us. <laughs> Because there's a second ocean monument out this way. You know what? I've thought of the perfect name for this guardian. I'm going to call him Gil. Anyways, there's the second ocean monument. Water breathing. Night vision. Time to infiltrate. Please don't let me get mining fatigue. That was close. That was close. I almost did not break that in time. Oh, that's the treasure room. We do not want to go there just yet. And it's thundering. Great. Well, there he is. You know what? Axolotl. Hey, there we go. Nice. I wanted that advancement. Whoa, wait. We can just go around and kill the other Elder Guardian, because that's where he'll be. We just take a bit of a U-turn then. 
we can find him. Well, hear him. There he is. Oh, I forgot shields don't block these guys' as laser beams. Oh, sponge room! Hey! Another sponge room. Let's go. I'm at 38 wet sponges, and this will bring me up to over a stack. Nice. Oh, mine fatigues wear off. What? I swear that mining fatigue didn't last five minutes. What the heck? Okay, that... I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> oh, look at all these sponges. I don't know if a sponge room is exactly guaranteed in a monument, but... If not, today we got pretty lucky. Over a stack? Hey, A stack and a singular. Okay. Alright, let me grab this uh, treasure really quickly. Thank you. And I'll be on my way out. Well, that was pretty successful. And quick. My goodness. And we got a pet guardian to bring back with us. He's going to be in it. He's going to have a special place in an aquarium. Little old Gil. Well, there's the other ocean monument. I don't think these two are within spawnable range of each other. Anyways, home sweet home. And for some reason, I can't hear the rain pouring. I have no idea why. But that's not the only thing we're going to be doing today, guys. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of building like I promised a couple episodes ago. But I just haven't gotten around to it. But I'm going to need the building resources to do so. What we're going to do is we're going to decorate our portal and slightly move it a little bit. Guys, I want my portal to be a 3x3, three because three, I, I really like the look of 3x3 three three portals instead of this rectangular shape. And yeah, guys, I'll be right, I'll be right back with you once I've gotten the resources that I need. Alrighty, guys, off camera, I've gathered the resources, and all the resources you see in my inventory, we are going to be using. So the first thing we're going to do is deactivate this portal. Because we're actually going to be moving this slightly. Alright, we're going to move it in this area where these rose bushes are. Alright, then we're going to start marking it out with some smooth quartz. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the four. We're going to do a two. And then another two. And then we'll just repeat it on this exact same side. Then we're going to start placing the teeth, like so, right? And then we're going to plate some more quartz. There we go. So that way it looks like that with the jawline going all the way around like that. And then we just place the teeth like this. All right. I think the one thing I should do is bring out the stone cutter because we're going to definitely need stairs and slabs so I'll just grab this really quick all right I'm gonna turn half a stack of these into stairs say half of that into slabs there we go not gonna need a whole lot of this all right so then we're gonna place some upside down stairs like that there we go that's some that's some nice upside down stairs I think okay a stair like that the stair like that and there we go it looks like the skull has a nose that's starting to look pretty good i'd say build like supports on along the sides of the jaw okay so basically if we do something like this and then place a stair like that just like hollow it out okay that's starting to look good let's do the same on this side okay well okay we're gonna Test this out by placing some bone blocks here. Then we'll add another here and another here. Okay, stair here and a stair there. Okay, and then right here and right here can be the eyes, sort of. For the eyes, we're going to make them eyes of fire, I think. We place netherrack. Then we use the flint and steel. And those will be the eyes. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I think I will place the black concrete just to make the nose a bit more visible. 
Make a four block pillar of bone blocks on either side. All right, maybe place a stair. I'll also place a stair there. All right, and then we're gonna have a wall back here all made out of smooth quartz. We're also gonna put in a little bit of calcite just for a bit of uh, texture variation. All right, and then we're gonna make a little bit of the spine. It's just gonna be as simple as that. All right, we can place a row of uh, quartz blocks just to uh, level off the top here. I need a couple more stairs. Yeah, the stairs can go right there. Okay, how's it looking now? Considering this is like my first time actually making like a custom skull. It's actually not bad. Okay, now I need to uh, mine out the floor. I think this will be a four by four. Oh, server automatically restarts in 15 minutes. Oh, okay. I don't think this will take very long. I just have to place a couple more blocks and we'll add a bit of a random pattern in here with a red nether brick. All right, we're almost done. I just need to patch up that little bit of dirt and uh, replace these with just a bit of bone blocks. But man, this is looking really good. Right, and there we go. That's the skull done. <laughs> well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be, to be fair. Yeah, let's get rid of the scaffold S bleh, scaffolding, and let's get rid of that. Oh, yes. I think that'll just about wrap it up there. I'm going to do my outro inside the skull itself. Anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Ho hopefully you guys enjoyed this skull. Leave a like on this video and for Gil if you have enjoyed it. Consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. See you guys later.